Here's everything that happened in medicine this week in 60 seconds or less. GLP drugs like Ozempic and semaglutide lower obesity-linked cancers compared to other things like bariatric surgery. Former President Joe Biden was diagnosed with a very serious prostate cancer. Donald Trump issues executive order saying he's going to tell manufacturers that he's only going to pay the same price for prescription drugs as other countries. New study in JAMA Pediatrics shows that one in four children have a parent that suffers from addiction, most commonly being alcohol. RFK Jr. was testifying in front of Congress, defending his cuts to different types of organizations, as well as saying he doesn't think people should take his own personal medical information and defending the current MMR vaccines, but he was still under a lot of scrutiny. Gavin Newsom orders a new plan where he's not going to be enrolling any new immigrants in his Medi-Cal plan. He's also planning on making it so that you have to now start paying a monthly fee in order to help pay for the program. The FDA clears its first blood test to help diagnose Alzheimer's, but still recommends using diagnostic imaging as well. Measles cases reach over 1,000 to 1,024, with over 98% of them being unvaccinated or unknown status. That's all the major news for this week. If you want all the links to all the information and more that you missed, you can find it in the link in my bio under my Substack. If you want to support this page, you can also find other resources for that as well. I'll see you tomorrow for all the information. See you then.